Okay, so as you know, we had a little schedule change today, so we just switched, ugh, swatched, switched, swatch swap times with Mrs. Bear's class. So you'll have social studies when you normally have at LA. Um, and so we have an extra long time here today, so I'm hoping that we can get through today's lesson and then we'll be able to watch the video that you only watched part of mm -hmm. yesterday for the lesson mm -hmm. for that one. Yes, ma'am. When are we going to read? Um, I don't know when. But we will finish it. I promise, promise, promise we will finish it because I'm not going to leave you like that for that story. Okay, so today we're going to talk about bibliographies or resources or citations. And what's a bibliography? Yes, sir. Um, it's a story about a Ella, you were questioning that. Well, it's like it's kind of hard to explain. I guess it is kind of a story about a person, but not necessarily. Like Story like maybe an uh, article on a person, a person about their life. What do you think, sir? Uh, maybe the what? Yeah, the life. And, um, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not uh, always uh, the author isn't a uh, person. I'm gonna put up two I words know. here. I know it. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. This is the word that I said. Can you read that one? Bibliography. Can you try saying that word? Bibliography. Yes. Okay. The word that the word you are trying to you defined. Oh, I knew it from the beginning. It's close though. Okay. Not from the right So what's this one? Everybody. Uh, biography. Bibliography. Okay. Usually, have you heard of Greek and Latin roots for words? Yeah. 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 Um, most of our words in English come from other languages. Oh, yeah. French, and, French. Um, many of them, if you understand Greek and Latin roots, graph. I think graph. What does that sound like to you? It's a math. Graph. Uh, Have you ever? Giraffe. Yeah, so I was gonna say giraffe. Yeah. Giraffe. Yeah, giraffe. Yeah. How about? Has anybody heard of that substance? Yeah, yeah graphite. Yeah. Yeah. What's graphite? Graffiti. 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 What does this all have? What's graphite? Like what's in? Like, Something like in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And what's graffiti? Art. Illegal. Illegal art type of Not art. Not just art, but. It begins with a W. Um, Words. Close. Word art. What am I doing? Writing. Writing. Writing yeah. So, all of these words, and this is the same sound, it's just a different spelling of it. Graph, graph. So, it all has to do with writing. writing. Yes? Can I say the definition for In just a minute. Biblio book. is book. Is That's why is that why Biblio and bio is science. science. Yeah. Not just science, but it's it's the organism. A oh. living organism. Because you can have the biology of a plant. So knowing Greek and Latin words, um, your other girl is absent today. Um, knowing Greek and Latin roots and prefixes can help you understand words that you don't know what they mean. You can kind of get an idea or a context for what they are. So, a bibliography, go ahead, my friend. Um, a bibliography is where you list the sources that you use to write your book. To do your research. So why would you have a bibliography? Yes, sir. To give credit. To give credit. Why is that important? <laughs> well, I have a different reason than that. It could be like, so if you forget what a part that you have to use for your story, you can go back and look what it was. In the okay. 
what that and that is important. But back to this, friends. Why is it important to give credit? Yeah. Um, I was thinking that it's nice to like not hold all the credit to yourself. It's not only nice; it's illegal to steal somebody else's information. If I yeah. don't say I got, if I if I try to claim, okay, Shakespeare said, wrote one of his lo famous lines: "To be or not to be." To eat that or not. And if I did, that is the question. And if I said, "Oh yes, I wrote to be or not to be." and took all the credit for that famous line. Is that honest? No. Is it That's true? No. 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 And if Shakespeare was still alive, could he sue me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because I I was taking his his credit, his information on that um, on that information. So you could get sued? By oh, big time. You could get arrested. It's against the law to plagiarize. That's called plagiarization oh. or plagiarizing. When you oh. take people's work without giving them credit for it. Is that why you cite information? That is exactly why you cite information. Bingo, Citing film kid. like a bibliography. Yes. If you have like a site page. Yes. It's, it's sometimes called work cited, citation page, work cited, bibliography, or resource page. And why isn't this working? Technical difficulties. So we're going to talk about the forms to use, and if you turn to page 16, 17, and 18 in your packet, please. Should I be doing this? No, you can do, you, we're just going to be, they're going to be looking on as soon as I get this resituated. How many followers, followers do you have on YouTube? Um, are we talking about that right now? So, is it an appropriate topic right now? Okay, it's been working all day. So, what do I need for help? Is there a technical difficulty problem? No. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna unplug and try to replug in again. Mm -hmm. You can always call tech support. Yeah, I'm the tech support in the building. I'm tech support. Well, you're tech support in the classroom, but I'm tech support <laughs> in this building. Oh. So you can call classroom tech support. And let's try and figure it Is out. Is this video supposed to be about yeah. how to turn on your computer? And stuff? That would be a good one, wouldn't it? What? How to turn on your computer. To connect there. It was connected all before. Which thing are you is supposed to plug in all yeah, the way? Yeah. Connected or so? It says yeah. computer one. one or two is off, so. Is it plugged into the wall? It is plugged into the wall. Is it plugged it's into the computer? computer? Make sure it's all the way. Yep, it's all the way. It was working, you saw it before, earlier. Yeah. This will make me sad. There's a. Try turning it off now. Yeah, try turning this part off. Yeah, that's usually sure the everything. Sure yeah, I don't know. Just having okay, some technical Okay, so is everybody on 16 and 17? Okay. Yeah. And what do you see at the top of page 16 and 17? How? Miss Pitt, yes. Uh, book source. How to make book a source. big bibliography. Is your name Miss Pitt? No. Yeah. Uh, What's that? Oh yeah, that's and also how to make stuff. a bibliography slash research. Is that flowing? Yeah. 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 yeah, don't touch it. I didn't touch it. I just, I, yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it cold or warm air? Warm. 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 That doesn't sound good. That's warm. It's going to explode. <laughs> yeah. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Back oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming. They all have automatic fans because the light bulb gets pretty hot. Light bulb? Yeah, there's a light bulb up there. That's oh, yeah. It projects it. Okay. It should be back soon, people. Let's see. Technical difficulties. Oh, this is what I was trying to 
Yes. You want me Press to hold the... that? Which button does it say next? Press the question mark button. Should I just put this in my desk? No, I want it so it doesn't get lost over. Just put it with the correction ring and your computer okay, off and on again. What's it say for Apple um, uh, F7? F7. Uh, I've always wondered what were those uh, F buttons. There's they do a bunch of different things. Mm. Whoa! Oh, it's not on. <gasps> At first, I thought like if you, uh, if you, you know how on the brightness it's like F something. I thought like if you do a uh, command F, then it brightens. It says press the button. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So since this isn't working right now, I'm gonna go to. Part plan B. Plan you B. need to go. They can, if you've done the if you've done the lesson, they can check it off. Okay. Am I allowed? You you choose which one with them that you're no. going to do. Okay. So on the, if I was doing the book, yeah, a book resource. Here we so the first thing it says on your page is the author or the editor. So what's the author's name on that one? Linda Taglia Farrell. So in Citation Land, Bibliography Land, you put the author's last name first. Can you spell that last name for me? T A G L I A F E R R O. Comma and then Linda. Mhm. Mm okay. Weird. Are you citing? She no. Yep. She oh. could so be what's the um, the next one on there is. The title. What's the title, sir? Therapy Dogs. No. Dog Heroes. No. Dog Heroes Therapy Dogs. And if you can't tell from the book cover, you can go to the title page. So I'm going to write Dog Heroes. But I think Dog Heroes is a series, and then Therapy Dogs is the certain, like, of that what series. makes yeah. you say that? Because um, Dog Heroes is like in smaller font than the Therapy Dogs. And it, it could has be like an icon. Are there? Yeah. And, and an icon? Yeah. And on the back matter, what is there? Different uh, books of dogs. Of dogs. So it most likely is a series, but it would be a title and a subtitle. Yeah. Like that. If this person, Linda, was an editor, after her first name, you'd write E D period. Editor. Are you gonna give us like is that's that's all in this packet right here? Oh, okay. Oh, there's lines for each one of those all things. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, what's the next thing on there? Uh, city of publication. Can you find the city of publication? Wait, um, this is why I have a question. Is it possible for a little kid to get sued or something? For a what? Uh, for a little kid to get sued by not citing. New York. Don't New worry York. about it. Right. Don't worry too much. <laughs> New York, New York, New York. Why does it say New York, New York? Because it's the name of a state. It's the name of the city, and the name of the state is and New York, New York. Exactly. Um, but usually, um, for this thing, for city of publication, you just need the city. So you could do and write it all out, or you could just do New York with the abbreviations, because that's a famous a abbreviation. Can you pass the book down? Yes. Is New York City, is the city part in the actual name of the city? It's New York City, New York, New York. So it would be like Orno, Maine. New York, New York. Hmm. I thought hmm. it was New York City, New York. Um, we can check that, double check, but I think it's New York, New York. Okay, my next person, who's the publishing company? That's either on the bottom of the title page or behind the publishing company. Fairport? Can you spell that for me? B E A R P or P O T R T. And does it say publishing company? Yeah. Yeah. Publishing yeah. company dot, dot Does it say company and ink? No. no. That's a cop it's a column. Does it say publishing company, company ink. and ink or does it just say publishing ink? It says publishing company, comma, ink dot. Okay, company I could abbreviate as CO or COM, and then comma, Inc. stands for incorporated. <coughs> okay, so what's the next thing on there? The copyright, pass that along, please. 
Where do you find the copyright? It's back of time. Copyright is either I know where it is. word copyright or you can have this little symbol. Isn't it called the verso page? It is called the verso page, the back so, of the title page. Um, we're not second. I don't know. That's yeah. You have to kind of scan for the date. 2005. 2005. So Whoa. then you would write copyright. 2005. Now, do you think much information from 2005 to 2015, that's 10 years, has changed about therapy dogs? Maybe a little. Maybe. A little a bit. A lot or a little? A, a little, little bit. Little. In the middle, maybe. In the middle. Probably very little basic yeah. information. Specific laws about therapy dogs might have changed, but the use of dogs is pretty standard. Wait, However, if you were doing research on... Um, Going to outer space, would uh, information that was 10 years old be valid and reliable? Nope. Mm. If you're doing research about the Ebola virus, would 10 year old information? The Ebola virus. Ebola. 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 Oh. You know the disease? Yeah. The virus. The Ebola virus, the flowers, yes. <laughs> um, okay. The last two people, you're going to get different questions in just a minute from the book. Okay. So on your page 16, you have one, two, three. Four places to re to record books that you're using. Mm -hmm. If so, what are you going to do? You can you can use this page, or you can I can Xerox some of those print more the office from you, or your parents can print more off because they got a copy of this, mm -hmm. or you can write them all on individual index cards. We'll be talking more about that when we're back from break. How to organize your notes and your sources? Yes. Um. How am I going to get a book about Bruce Campbell? We will do some work about that. Okay? You, go you might line. not find a book about Bruce yeah. Campbell. We might have to find only internet sources. Yeah. But we'll we'll work on that together. Um, so can you turn to page 17 and tell me what it says at the top there? Internet source. Can you pop up and erase that, please? And. I think it's something going on in. I don't want to do that. I think it's something something going on in Mr. Allen's room. I think you should maybe like restart the computer. Oh yeah, it's from the computer thing when you get something right. Oh yeah. It's from that. Oh yeah, that game we did. Yeah. Okay. I am going to do this. Okay, so on the internet one, I am going to restart the computer. Reboot, restart. Yeah, say, I said that to so, I know, but I was doing other troubleshooting things. Now, of course, can I find my mouse here? Uh, you don't all need to come over and look at the screen. <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing that. So I'm going to hard restart it. Yeah, me too. Okay, so on your internet thing, it has the author or the editors. I was able to show the last group how to find the author and editors on a web page. We looked up, the topic was uh, the first African American male in the Olympics, and we got Jesse Owen. And we went to a website called bio.com, biography.com. Oh, yeah. And at the bottom of that page, it had about the authors, or about the editors. So we used that information to fill out the author or editor on there. And so if you're confused about that part, and I don't get a chance to show you that if this doesn't work, you can watch that video from the first class that did it. Title of the article is just like title of the book. Copyright date of the article. What? Yes, ma'am. Then you can put unknown. Unknown. Because they probably don't want their name to be out on the internet. Okay, well, you know what? If you're writing an article, or if it's, say you um, did something from the National Geographic website, okay? Then you could say, um, written by editors of National Geographic. Because that is more credible 
than unknown. Unknown, it could be um, who bears little brothers right now and posting it on the internet because <laughs> anybody can post things on the internet. And that wouldn't be very credible, no matter how brilliant he may be. But National Geographic, I know they have to have a certain level of expertise to be po posted on the internet under National Geographic site because it's at their reputation. They're national. So, no, it's their reputation. They're a well-known um, research organization. Um, the other, instead of editors, you could say um, just write um, National Geographic. So, does that answer your question? Does that answer your question? Oh, Rebecca, did that answer your question? Okay. So then the next one is um, the copyright date of the article. And that would be the update, up last updated at. Um, Miss Ella, do you know how often your dad updates his company website? Pretty often. Pretty often. So that way I know the information is the most up to date, yeah. the latest information, the latest details. Like almost every day. Yeah. If it's last updated uh, in 2005, whoa, is that going to be, yeah, mm -hmm. timeliness. Timeliness is important. Um, and then the date you access the site. That means the date you saw the article. So today, if we were doing it, what date would we put up there? Two, two, two thousand fourteen. Two twelve fifteen. Mm -hmm. And then it has the internet address, and that's where you put the URL. Does anybody remember what URL stands for? Oh uh, uh, wait. Um, stands for, but I know it's like the whole. Well, that's not the question I asked. What is? This, what does that stand for? United. No. Mm. Universal. That's your homework tonight. What? Don't what? Find out what URL stands for. We can Google we it, that right? Homework for vacation. Yeah. Not for really. Yes, paper, we just oh, okay. you just tell me. I'll find it out. In fact, I can find it out like right oh, now. You need to find it out. Not just one person. So, um, get your packet up, buddy boy. Okay. So, um, at the bottom of the internet page is a place for encyclopedia, an entry in a format, and that's if you um, use something from an encyclopedia in the library. And then turn the page for page 18. There's a format for an interview. Ooh, I'm doing it. And that. Um, cool if I could get is there. So now I'm going to try plugging this back in. Hopefully it works. Ah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. woo! So, now I'm going to go and show you a tool, I know Mrs. Smart gave, showed you a tool about um, Google research tool in Google Documents, in Google Drive, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's also another tool that you might decide to add. You are on. How can you do this to me? Should we just all come look at that? That could work, I guess. How come it's not working today? Well, sometimes there's technical difficulties in everything in life, and you need to be thinking. What's the mindset I'm using right now? Uh, uh, perseverance. Persistence. Perseverance. perseverance. Oh. What else? Managing your impulsivity from not like getting yeah. angry, oh, like screaming. Yeah. Listening with empathy from your students. What was that, you guys back there? Thinking flexibly. Thinking flexibly because instead of going. Oh, my whole lesson is I need the projector and everything like that. Uh, you guys get a chance to um, see me think on my feet. That's what it's Persisting. called. Persisting. Persisting, even when uh, things are challenging. Taking a responsible risk to press a button that you don't know what will do. Well, I hope I know what it's going to do. <laughs> yeah. I hope I know what it's going to do. Uh. So, now <laughs> yeah, my computer is not even on, so this is... Wait, what was your teacher's name as a kid? 
my teacher's it name. It doesn't matter. I still am my teacher. I still have my same name is what I was No, no like, your teacher's what, name in yeah, fifth grade. When you had a teacher. When I had a teacher? Which my one? fifth grade teacher was Mr. Welch and Mr. Fowler. I just did three X's. I don't even know who they are. No, Mr. Brian, fifth grade, sorry, and Miss Yvonne. Mr. Brian. In Connecticut, did you go? Where's my computer? Okay, so let's stop the filming for right now. Oh, okay.